welcome to Baraura, a home that is not only steeped in history, but proudly dominates the shoreline of Lavender Bay. My name is Kate Galetto, Principal of Galetto Real Estate, and I'm honoured to have been asked to market this wonderful icon of Sydney Harbour. This National Trust listed property, built in 1888, is an original grand Victorian residence of distinction with its wonderful wraparound balconies and the dynamic views of the Opera House, Harbour Bridge and Bay, whilst the interiors have been wonderfully renovated in 1999. Originally, Baraura was one of a pair of freestanding gentlemen's residences built in the late 19th century and at one stage was the home to the Lord Mayor of North Sydney, Sydney Clark. Later, the property was purchased by the Railway Authority and became the Milsons Point Station Master's House. Yes, this home just oozes history. In 1998, the home, which had become quite dilapidated, was purchased by an overseas environmentalist, Michael Watts who was determined to bring this historic property back to its original condition with absolutely no expense spared. And certainly no details have been overlooked in his passion to breathe new life into this magnificent home. So many high profile people were involved in the restoration of this home, including Christine Sanders' design of Melbourne, and the famous architect Luigi Rossilli. This newly renovated home now offers three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, copious amounts of living space, and spanning three levels. When you enter this domain, what a wonderful sense of calmness pervades the home. It truly is a magnificent property. Careful presentation of original features, combined with a flair for modern design, maximise both space and light. Now if only these walls could talk, what wonderful stories they could tell us. What a vista from the master bedroom. You can relax in bed at night with the veranda doors wide open and listen to the jingle jangle of the boats bobbing up and down in the bay and hear the lapping of the water and be mesmerised by the city lights across the water. Perhaps the most dramatic spaces in the home are the bathrooms. Given that the restoration took place in 1999, they are so unique and extremely exhilarating. This is a true testament to Christine Saunders. She wanted to design unconventional bathrooms in contrast to the classic period of the home and she did this impressively. Just look at this flat-sided bath, which allows the water to overflow onto a zen-like pool of pebbles. The his and her basins are made of thick slabs of limestone tilted against the impressive glass screens, which cleverly hide the toilet and shower. Keeping the original fireplaces gives that magnificent melding of old with the new. In this large main bathroom, which once was a bedroom, the lavatory, basin and shower are built into a central unit and the limestone bench turns into a sculptural seat, which Rossilli called the dentist chair. This clever redesign of the home has meant that the master bedroom and ensuite are enraptured by the magnificent views of the harbour, whilst the second bedroom and main bathroom capture the beautiful sounds of the cascading waterfall at the rear of the property. The sounds of water emanate throughout the home. Just look at this wonderful original marble fireplace. There are a total of five still in the home and these have been wonderfully restored. They originally had loads of tar all over them due to the coal burning in years gone by but with the clever restoration, just look at them, brand spanking new. Both the formal lounge and the master bedroom above feature wonderful wraparound balconies with stunning original ornate balustrades, iron columns, fretwork, and beautiful tessellated tiles. Just sitting on these balconies overlooking the little jetty in front of the home allows you to watch the world go by. The business of the harbour with the coming and going of the ferries 
The cruise boats and pleasure craft can keep you captivated for hours. And let's not forget that this used to be the station master's cottage. The rail line in front is now just a shunting line, but the occasional sound of the train slowly chugging past reminds us of its history. The elegant entrance hall and magnificent Victorian timber staircase with its turned handrails takes you to the upstairs bedrooms and just look at this stunning stained glass window. It's over 120 years old. This kitchen is stunningly simple and yet so well designed. Fully integrated, including the stove, and it leads out to a north-facing courtyard which has wonderful views of the Harbour Bridge. You can tantalise your family and friends on New Year's Eve. And guess what? The original Dunny is still out there. Now just as a bonus, here on the lower level of the home is a fully self-contained apartment with a private entry and it comes complete with a Gaganau kitchen and plenty of storage. And just look at this amazing bathroom featuring the original cement dome ceilings. What a wonderful ensuite this is. Barara, the station master's cottage, is a true Sydney icon and certainly the beauty of the bay. But more than that, it is a family home a home of character, a home of warmth. It has been fully transformed and renovated. I look forward to seeing you at one of our open homes.